breaking news Nigerians, everybody in shock. As Northern youths and those Biafra struggle, says Nigeria is unredeemable. Well, Nigerians, uh, it's happening right now. These Northern youths are from the Castina State. <laughs> Record that a uh, few days ago, a professor from the Castina State it was warned it was Ziri, you know. He told Northerners to get prepared. He said, because if their friends finally succeed the way they are going about the agitations now in Nigeria, what is going to be in their stance if they, them, if they themselves are not prepared? So he advised the Northerners to prepare for possible separation of Nigeria because the way the whole thing is going right now, Nigeria is not working. And uh, maybe the best thing to do is uh, everybody go your own way. So that fear of if, if Northerners or if Nigeria separates, they no go survive. They are saying that is a big lie. The Northerners can survive, you know, without um without uh, any other region in nigeria you understand so that is what northern are saying now that they can survive you know they can survive without the the southerners so now they are now hurting for nigeria division so you see if god wants to do something you know they take you know they take you know they take on anything you get you know, right from the very first time, the Northerners uh, 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 is seen as a, a barrier to the separation of Nigeria. But now that they themselves are ready for the Nigeria to be separated. So the question is, what is the Nigerian government waiting for? That's, that was exactly the, the a statement made by an other statement from Southeast. Chike Obiadibo, he said, the Northerners are not hurting for Nigeria's uh, uh, separation. So what is the Nigerian government waiting for now that they are interested? Record that Professor Anango Adulayi of the Northern Elders Council said uh, some time ago uh, that Nigeria has expired based on amalgamation agreement of 1914. He said Nigerians should consider going separate ways because nothing is working. You understand? He even complained about the current situation in Nigeria, he describing the situation as very sad. So Adulayi attributed the country's problems to both Nigerians and their leaders, emphasizing the need for accountability if there's going to be any need. But he said, he said, the best thing right now is for Nigerians, you know, to consider the possible way, which is separation. In his ways, the amalgamation degree of 1914 stipulated that the entity known as Nigeria would expire after 100 years. He said it will expire after 100 years. So that means it has already expired. So if other called for a conference to evaluate whether Nigerians have made sufficient progress in building a nation, and you know this is where they will get to zero because Nigeria is not making any progress. He said if no consensus is reached, he suggested that Nigeria should consider going their separate way. You know that this is what the Biafrans are really pushing for. The, the Biafrans from the southeast and the, the Odidua agitators from the southwest, they are asking Nigeria government to conduct referendum. You understand? Let them know where they stand. This will not be wild and not be violent. Okay, you want Nigeria to stand? You want Nigeria to, you know, to continue being one without progress? No problem. But you know what? Conduct a referendum so that people will vote. You understand? If people vote for one Nigeria, good and fine. Nobody goes anywhere. Now here, now now the Kanuti enter problem because he asked Nigerian government, you know, to conduct a referendum. He had he had never. Now the Kanu have never said, "I've declared the Biafra nation." What he is asking for is referendum for the southeasterners to know 
whether they are still in Nigeria or Biafra. If it favors Nigeria, according to the IPOB leader, then Nigeria stands at one as once. But if it favor the Biafra, this the southeasterners and some south south states will go their own nation. That is what he has been agitating for. The Nigerian government said no, nobody goes anywhere. Nigeria remains one. So guys, when I see the matter now, like as I said, the northerners are fully ready. Yes, according to their leaders, because they are not, they are not, you know, satisfied with President Bola Metinubu's government. So suddenly they have seen it now that they have been marginalized and all that, and they are now asking for Nigerian separation. You understand? It's really, really very, very, you know, uh, interesting. These are the same people when. Uh, president Muhammad Buhari was the president of Nigeria. When people were saying the way the whole thing is going, the best way, everybody will go their own way. And the Northern has bent that Nigeria remains one. But suddenly, because a Southerner is now the president of the country, they are now feeling being marginalized just one year. You understand, in office, of uh, uh, President Bola Maitunubu being in office as a Southerner. Uh, as a Nigerian president, they are now, you know, arresting for an, a Nigerian separation. So Nigerians are now saying, if the Northerners are ready for this, so what are we waiting for? That means God has already buttered our bread. So we move. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Oh, please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.